Hi, this is Tim, and I have another PLC quiz. And on the surface, this one has seemed simple to many of you, but make sure you listen to the end because there are a few additional requirements. We're going to program a basic start stop with reverse. So if I have switch one in the left position and I hit the green button, the green light's going to come on. I hit the red button, the green light's going to go off. If I switch switch one to the right, that's going to be reverse. And if I hit the green button, the yellow light's going to come on. And if I hit the red button, the yellow light's going to go off. Also, if the yellow light is on and we switch it to the left position, the yellow light should go off. And if the green light is on and we switch it to the right position, the green light should go off. Now for the challenge. I was discouraged by the number of replies I received to the last PLC quiz stating that you should do it in this programming language and then every other programming language stinks. I think some people have been using programming language X for too long. But these quizzes shouldn't be seen as how quickly can I reply and show that I know something. They should be seen as a way to stretch our knowledge. So I have configured switch four to do this in three different languages. So with switch four in the left position, this works in ladder. With switch four in the middle position, it works in function blocks. And with switch four in the right position, it works in structured text. Now for my most experienced users, there's still one more challenge, but I wanna to talk to the beginners before we go any further, is if you just saw what I did and like, nope, I can't get there. Remember that the point of this is to stretch your knowledge. So if you're coming at this and don't even know how to program a start stop, if you come out of this knowing how to program a start stop, then you've gained. If you knew how to do a start stop, but didn't know how to do a reverse, then you've gained. If you thought there was only one programming language in your software and you find out that there's another one, then you've gained. So in this case, I'm using Studio 5000 and a Compact Logix PLC. And it has ladder, function blocks, and structured text. Also, if you're using connected components, you do have these three languages, but we haven't done any lessons on how to execute code based off a of switch position. So extra kudos if you figure that out. Now there's one more hitch to this. Depending on how you programmed it, when you have the green light on and you switch switch four, it's either going to stay on or it's gonna to go to the previous program state. Make it so that regardless of the state of the green lights, when you switch switch four to another one, the output start off without looking at switch four's inputs. So I'm only gonna show you my main routine. I have switch four left position, which is my input seven, and it's doing a JSR to my ladder routine. And then if I don't see my left position or my right position, which are input seven or input eight, I assume I'm in the center position and we execute our function block routine. And finally, if switch four is in the right position, which is input eight, we execute the structured text routine. In fact, if I cross reference, switch seven, which is our left position, you're gonna see it's only used in the main routine. And same with switch eight, it's only used in the main routine. So this presents a really good exercise in program flow. And I've gotta be honest, I'm not completely happy with my solution for this. I'll be really interested to see what you come up with. I hope this will be a fun way for you to build your programming skills and I look forward to seeing your well thought out solutions. Now, if you post something just to show up in the activity feed, then I may have to embarrass you. Oh, and one other thing, many of you ask what your compensation would be for writing this code. Well, if you notice, just like in the previous one, I already have it written. So it's not that I need it. This is something for us all to learn with. So your compensation is greater knowledge or more marketable skills. But if this is shared enough and I feel like these PLC quizzes are impacting enough programmers, then I may start doing some type of giveaway with them. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel.
And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.